It's been close to a month and a half since the last time I was out here filming and things. Now, but I got my together and I've worked out a schedule and I've worked that schedule into a habit. And chances are, the last time you saw Miller? Chances are the last time you saw me was on schedule, that being last week Sunday. But in case, we haven't done this in a while. And I have a really good feeling about not just today's sunset specifically, but also how we're gonna capture it. Why? Oh my days, bro. Why do I say this? Well, because your boy, your boy has a monopod today. Yeah. It's not the tallest monopod in the world. To be quite honest, it's not even really a monopod. It's a tripod for, you know those like little, like at home vlogging kits that come with like a really crappy green screen, like a sheet of like green screen, a ring light this thing and I think like a grip for your phone as well yeah my mom I think my mom or my sister hey buddy you look at that little pit bull over here <laughs> I haven't seen this like in a while but yeah the point I'm trying to make is my mom bought those. I really hope you can hear me over these two. But my mom bought those like a couple years back. And you know what? I had planned on going to a certain spot that we went to before. But they recently burned the fields. If you remember from, I think it was episode three. Here I go again with making things episodic. It's not episodic. But like the third or the second one at some point I tried going down here and I was like yeah we're like 15 minutes into sunset right now like if we don't find a place to set up and find it quickly we just might miss sunset and I am not walking down here no way in hell the grass was just a little too tall the grass is not tall anymore, which is great, because now I don't have to go that far and I have a plethora of new locations to exploit. I'm just really hoping that my decision to come here today doesn't backfire because sure enough, the fields will burn down and I can walk through them, you know, but it's not exactly clear you know what i'm saying like there's tree galore over here as you can hear dead branches and everything but if i remember correctly there is a certain vantage point over here that is a bit advantageous hmm you know what? We're gonna stick to our guns. We're gonna stick to our guns. Cause I'm looking at where I wanted to go today specifically, which is the same, well, the same part of the hill that we used for, I think it was two, the second sunspots two, if not sunspots three. I think it was sunspots three, but it's fine. Cause I've been meaning to come here anyways. It's just that, I forgot just how much lower in elevation this particular part of the hill is. But on second thoughts, hmm. actually, I'm gonna put you down and then I wanna try and see just how high I can get this mono tripod to sit. Because if I can work it out right, We'll be just fine. It's just like these trees. These trees are really discouraging, man. And we're running out of time because I came out late as usual. You know, what else is new? 
Um, but you know, if I can get to like that part of the hill over there, then we might be able to do something. You know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna take a chance. I've never been to this part of the hill before. Like I usually, I usually like stop here. Like you see over there? Wait, where am I? Yeah, you see like over there? It's one of my favorite spots right there. With like the tree and everything. But where we're gonna go is there. You know what, fuck it. Let's just go and then, yeah. Let's see walk one. Let's see how we can make the most of this. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so, theoretically speaking, kids, this spot right here should be good. I hope. I really do hope because you and I are in uncharted territories right now. I've never been to this part of the field. It's the second time I'm seeing this. I think I need to like repeat it to myself to remind myself that yo, what am I reminding myself of anyways? I don't know. But we are here and I think, yeah, this is a better vantage point. I think so. I think so. Especially if I can like, see maybe, see what we can do see what it looks like from here with the trees I'm not a fan of those trees so we'll try another vantage point we'll most likely come back to that one because it is kind of nice I just don't want trees in the front of today's time lapse well I never want trees in front of today's time lapse because it kind of obstructs the sun itself, you know, in set time lapse. But what we got right here, I think this is it. Hey, yo, who's barking at me? Oh, I see you. Yes. This is gonna be a dusty ass sunset, but I have a good feeling about it. Coming out here with this tripod, monopod, mono tripod, mono tripod. Yeah, we're gonna call it the mono tripod. Might have been the best idea I've had so far. So much of a good idea that I actually want to invest in like a proper one that like extends at least like this high. Because if I can get someone that gets something that's like that high, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's going to be it's going to be so good. So so very good. <laughs> Oh man, that's so pretty. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. You know what, I think this is about the best I'm probably gonna be able to do. Yeah. Let's not let perfect be the enemy of good. Let's not let... Yeah, I think we're good to go. this was gonna be a dusty time lapse <laughs> dusty it was dusty it really was shout out to pollution actually because thanks to pollution we have certain like visual effects that happen during the sunset as you would have obviously seen in today's time lapse and that just threw, just flew But, yeah. 
as is with unplanned time lapse videos. I didn't put on enough layers. Enough layers. I didn't put on enough layers today, so like. I'm getting pretty cold. I'm getting pretty cold. And. Yeah. Ooh, we. We will disassemble. Not disassemble, but like collapse this. Once we get to the crib. Because fa la 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 Wow, I can still, I still can't see myself This is crazy bro Like Being introduced to Sony cameras And the low light capability of a Sony camera While it was a good thing You know, good in terms of I see where <laughs> I should be like aiming for or what should I should be aiming for in terms of image quality it's great and everything but just having experienced it going to anything but that is painful as you can see with this imagery over here but I'd say for like a super impromptu you know time last video because I'll be honest with you I was not planning on leaving the house today or making you know like going out to like capture another time lapse or like not time lapse but like to make one of these videos I was not planning on doing any of this until like at least mid September because like what usually happens around like my area especially you know, like the tail end of winter, going into spring, it gets particularly colder. We have like a lake. It was seen, I think, from the last one, if not the one before this. Like the lake that's down the hill from my house. That body of water, well, it's not the only body of water. It's one of two. It's one of three, actually, bodies of water in my greater neighborhood. And what that does, is when it gets cold like when the sun goes down they kind of like amplify the cold you know like, like anybody who has like a swimming pool at their house or anything like that or someone who lives near a body of water like the ocean or something like that not the indian ocean obviously because it's warmer but you'll know what i'm talking about essentially like a body of water just generally decreases the average temperature in a given area around it and around here that makes it particularly cold when the sun goes down even if it was fairly warm you know like during the day or something like that which is rather unfortunate because like if you don't have your layers on like I do today Oh, that's good. If you don't have your layers on, like I do today, it gets a bit awkward. It's very awkward. Like I'm wearing like really, really light sweatpants right now, and it's just not cozy at all. But what matters is we got our video. And I still haven't collapsed this thing. Let me do that real quick. We got the video. We're good. Even though it was super unplanned, it's good still. And I, yeah, what's what's the point? You can't even see me in here. All you see is like this silhouette. But it's fine. It's cool. I'm just gonna. Wow, that's bad. Oh my god, that is so bad. At old school AMG power. That was an E55, like a 2008 E55. One of the coolest cars in the parking lot. But yeah, we got our video, and we feel good. We feel great. We feel awesome, and you 
can see that my noise cancellation is still on. Let me just turn that off real quick. So preserve the battery. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed today's rather impromptu, super unplanned shenanigans. It was a good one though. It felt good to be outside. You know. Cause yeah, you know, like I said in the beginning of the video. I haven't been outside to shoot one of these in almost two well yeah, around about like two months, a month and a half. It's been a while. It's been a while. That's like the point that I'm really trying to make. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I certainly enjoyed making it for you. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay cozy. Even when life isn't. I'm getting my shoes so dirty and now this thing is hooked in my lanyard but it's fine um, yeah maybe eh? maybe let's give it a shot let's give it a shot so I'm going to set you down. First thing to put this down. And I'm going to plop you down. You're going to watch me set up this thing I'm talking about. Because today, you are not on the Gorilla Pod. We're trying things. Isn't that great? Isn't that awesome that we're trying things? Huh? 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 So yeah, basically, this thing right here. Let's just make sure the things don't fall out of our pockets because we don't want to break our phones. Um, all right. So. Oh man. Cool. Awesome. Let's just see how. Well and high can I like extend? Like maybe like up until there. And then na, 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 na. Na, na, na. I don't know why I'm doing that. There's absolutely no music playing in my headphones right now. <laughs> I mean, this is not too bad. It's not too bad. Put this down here next to this snake burrow looking thing and I think we're good to go I think we're oh that was a nice shot <laughs> okay yeah let's see it's like oh man I'm dirtying my shoes just something I hate to do because believe it or not I'm not the biggest fan of oh that's so pretty dusty but pretty I'm not the biggest fan of cleaning shoes eh? like, I feel like I'm gonna be like that that sneakerhead I use the term sneakerhead very loosely because I don't really consider myself a sneakerhead to be quite honest but I do love sneakers I mean I like sneakers I don't love sneakers but I do see myself as being the guy who just outsources shoe cleaning because man there's one thing 
that is super tedious in this life it's cleaning sneakers especially if they have boost material because boost material is just so fucking finicky man like i don't know you tell me in the comments like have you ever had like situations where you're like trying to clean this is if you have boost sneakers obviously or boost material shoes where you're like trying to clean your sneakers and it's just it's not it's just not doing the things that you needed to do and you end up with like those icky brown spots in your boost material please comment and let me know like how you clean them if you figured it out otherwise i really am just going to outsource that because wow hey the first time i ever tried to clean my nmds a mess my darling an absolute mess but <coughs> let us attach this here and i think we're let me just readjust this here tightness without aggravating my tendonitis because scroll so much my thumb fucked up yes that's a logic line but yeah i recently developed tendonitis in one of my thumbs and now whenever i exert too much force with my thumb it kind of like aggravates the injury all over again and i don't know how to feel about that truly but hey we are here now so we will just have to deal you get me you know what i just really maybe there's like another higher vantage point that we can like try and get on i'm just not very confident with the way the legs on this thing are particularly sitting because you know like this thing is made to be used indoors, unfortunately. And yeah, you see, already we're having problems because now the base of the legs is like, yeah, that's not stable. And like, this is such a perfect vantage point it's just damn it where's a sandbag when you need it ah uh, that's probably another thing i need to like invest in i'm so sorry like this this part right here is probably like the most difficult part for anyone watching this video is to actually watch properly because the camera is going everywhere my voice is coming in and out of like the mic's focus and shit and it's probably just not a good time because you're wondering, well, and think, what is this guy doing? Trust me. Trust in the process. It's all gonna be worth it. I hope. <laughs> I can just get this to be like as stable as possible. Then, you know, we might have something for real.